Well, good morning, South Africa. I'm so excited to be with you. All right, we are in day number six of blessing, the week of blessing. All right, and blessing our nation. So I want to just deal with something this morning. It is the 31st of October. It's officially the Halloween day. But I'll tell you right now, as the saints have released the anointing, I can already sense that the atmosphere is light. This assignment is already being restricted. This assignment that was supposed to be loosed over our nation has already had incredible restrictions placed on it. So before I even begin, I want to just ask and call, all right, this evening, the 31st of October, Saturday the 31st of October, we are calling for a national prayer meeting, only for half an hour. We're going to deal with three things, the COVID spike, the Halloween issue, as well as also the full moon. All right, I know that we have been praying and we are restricting and what we are doing is working. You can sense it wherever we're going. The reports are coming in from everywhere to say that they can sense the atmosphere is light. That is because the Christians have been praying. The Christians have been restricting this. Remember, the Bible is very clear that we have all power over the work of the devil. We just have to apply it. We have all the authority to do it. So I want you to understand that as we do this, we are going to see these results. We are expecting to see this. But tonight we're going to stand in unity and we're going to just sit down and give thanks for what God is doing. So just get ready because today is actually a blessed day. God is going to bless us. It's not going to be a heavy day. It's not going to be a tough day. It's not going to be one of attacks and all sorts of stuff. It's going to be blessed. It's going to be easy. It's going to flow. And you're going to see how the body of Christ control an atmosphere. All right. I want to deal with the topic this morning of we have protection. You have protection. Psalm 34 verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encamps all those who fear him, and listen to this, and deliver them. I want you to know that God's angels are busy moving and protecting you in Jesus' name. You don't have to fear. You don't have to fear your children or what's going on. You just need to realize and release that protection. How do I get an angel to move? Very easy. Release scripture. Psalm 91. Every time you read Psalm 91, every time you stand in agreement with it, you are releasing angels to protect you. So I want you to know that whatever the devil's plan, it is cut off in Jesus' name. We are restricting it as the body of Christ. This is not a one-man show. This is us standing together as the body doing what God has called us to do. So I want to encourage you this morning. And as we pray, I want you to know that you are safe. You are safe. Don't let any fear, don't let any report come near you. Whatever is coming, whatever negative wave comes, you say, in the name of Jesus, I am safe. Because the angel of the Lord encamps around me because I fear the Lord. I love the Lord. I am there for the Lord. And as I dedicate my life to him, as I release God's word, angels are moving on my behalf. So this is what it is to battle. What's the best thing to battle? What is the thing that you have as your opposing uh, weapon? Is the word. The sword. Why is the sword a big deal? The sword is the word. When I release the word, angels get released. They do the battle. You don't even fight. All you have to do is release the word. And so we need to know that the word of the Lord this morning is, you are safe. You are protected. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. So let's pray together. Lord, I pray over this nation. I thank you for the peace of God. I thank you for the blessing of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, that as we as believers have come into unity and prayed this week, Lord, I thank you that every single prayer has created an umbrella and a restriction of the evil one and his plan and purpose over this nation. Lord, I thank you for the peace of God over this nation. Lord, I thank you right now that you have sent angels to protect each one of us. Lord, I thank you that we stand on this psalm, Psalm 34, verse 7, knowing that we have angels encamping around us. Lord, I thank you that you've given us the weapon of the word. As we speak the word, angels are ministering and fighting to protect us. Lord, I thank you that you have promised that we have authority over every work of the devil. So, Lord, we release the blessing, we release the power, and we thank you, Lord, that you are moving by your Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, 
Amen and amen. Saints, I wanted you to stand in agreement, release the word, and see God do something awesome in our nation in Jesus' mighty name. But I want to just put out a call. All right, if you're getting this message via WhatsApp or, or via, um, you know, via WhatsApp or video or audio, I just want to just say 7 o'clock tonight on Dr. Arthur Frost Facebook page, we are coming together. Okay, this is now Saturday evening, the 31st of October, and we are going to stand in agreement for our nation. All right, and then number two, um, you already know that it's me, okay? My name is Dr. Arthur Frost. My cell phone number is 082-659-2224 if you need to contact me directly. Okay, so I want to say thank you very much, saints, for being part of this. Thank you for standing in the gap and it's turning this atmosphere and just bringing stability back, bringing peace back, and allowing the Spirit of God to move over our nation and the blessing to be there. So I want to say thank you for reporting for duty and I'll see you at 7 o'clock tonight where we are going to stand in agreement and just solidify this thing once and for all in the spirit. So God bless you and we will see you soon. Amen. Enjoy your day.